Hello, how can you start learning about Apache Bean? In this video today, we are going to focus on what resources are available to give you first steps with Apache Bean. In the website, there is a dedicated page with all, uh, lo a lot of more details of uh, what we are going to be seeing here today. So I encourage you to go to this page and check all the videos, books, courses, and uh, a lot of other resources that are available to, to learn Apache Bean. Today, here in the slides, I'm going to be focusing on a few um, pointers in on a few um, uh, resources, uh, but there are many more, okay? Uh, by far, I think the most interesting resource that you have is the Tour of Bean. When I started learning about Apache Bean, well, you had to install dependencies, like you had to have the Python version uh, installed in Apache Bean as a dependency and so on. You don't have to do that anymore. So you have here the tool of Apache Bean that you can use just in your website, in your web browser, sorry, not in your web website. So the tool of Bean is available in three, three languages. You can log in to keep track of your um, track, uh, to keep track of your progress, sorry, of, uh, in, in the website. Uh, you can put it in dark mode or uh, light mode. Um, and you can just um, execute uh, examples and exercises and challenges uh, well to learn about Apache Bean. You see here different sections um, in uh, increasing order of difficulty and a final challenge that you can run here in, the, in, in, in inside the, the, the playground. Let, let's have a look, for instance, at uh, some of the transforms, OK? Uh, for instance, uh, I had some example with map, OK? A map. Uh, like a part do one to one, okay. So you see here on the left, um, you see some um, um, a documentation uh, explaining the example, and then you can run the example here on the right. Let's run it like this, okay. And you see here the output. See, this is the output of this pipeline. You also see here the graph, and you can edit the code and change it and and play with the code in in a perfectly safe environment because. Uh, you are not gonna break anything by running code here in this in this platform. So, for instance, let me let me have a look here at this side inputs example. Okay, so you see here some documentation about side inputs. Let me I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some live coding. Okay, this is a little bit dangerous here in a video and in, in live. Okay, but let me for instance I'm gonna change this dictionary to a P collection and think and, and see how this this changes the system. Let, let's first run. Okay, to make sure that we don't change the output. We see here the different, the different, the, like the different elements of the output. We see here the graphs. Okay, let, let me, I don't like this example because normally for side inputs I like to do something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do a create. Oh, sorry, not, not so much. See, you can also auto complete, uh, create like this. See, see this um, uh, red uh, crosses that I have here. You also have this highlight of whether the code is correct or not. Okay, so I'm gonna put, for instance, here this is gonna be a list. See, this is a, uh, this is not correct. Okay, and right now here, well, I'm gonna do tuples, for instance. I'm gonna put, I don't know, like a parenthesis here. Okay, see, well, I'm making apparently some mistakes. Okay, so this is a very friendly. Um, environment to write your code in the web browser without having to dedicate a new resource to run the, the pipelines, okay? So, well, let me change this to tuples, whatever, okay? Uh, for instance, well, now that, now that I have started, I have to finish the example, okay? And now I shall put some parentheses here. Hopefully, I will be fixing this. Let me see, let me see. Okay, let me see. Okay, good. Okay, so far so good. Okay, and now here instead of passing this like this, I'm gonna do a bin p value as dig. Okay, it was already a dictionary before. Okay, but well, let, let me just uh, do it like this. Okay, you see that I'm auto completing. Okay, sorry. Now I'm gonna run it. I don't think I hope the the output that is is going to change. Okay. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake, OK? Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, yeah, of course, because this is a bean transform. It has to start somewhere, OK? You see here that this is actually starting here in the pipeline. So I forgot to put here. So it doesn't matter if you do something incorrect, because, well, it's going to fail. It's going to tell you the, uh, the error, and you can fix it. <clears throat> ah, and I have now two transform with the same label. OK, let me put here a label, OK? This is a side input. OK, I'm going to put this label, for instance. It's perfectly safe. 
and it's actually meant for this, okay? Because it's about learning. So you're, you're gonna be mistakes uh, while you're learning. Okay, we see here the same output, but now the graph of the of the pipeline is slightly different because we have changed this and by using a p-value. Okay, so this is the tool of Bing. I strongly recommend it to use this uh, resource to um, uh, shape uh, your uh, Apache Bing skills and learn about all the all the API and all the transforms that you can do. In, in Apache Bean, okay? And the, um, at the end of the example, so yeah, so some of these are really like challenging examples, okay? So this is uh, like from zero to hero in in a couple of weeks, I would say, okay? So it's, uh, there are lots of uh, um, exercises. So that's about the tool of Bean. You also have the Bean Playground, okay? So let me let me open here the Bean Playground. It's a very similar um, uh, website. Uh, the tool of Bean is kind of like the playground with specific ex examples. Uh, but here, if you need to run some quick pipeline in Java or in Python, in Scala, in Go, you just have here, uh, let me put, I don't know, like for instance, Python, for instance. Let me, let's make the example, the, the same change that we did the, uh, before in another video, I'm sorry, I was out to complete in bin dot map print for instance, and let's run it. So you have a very a very quick, very uh, fast way of just copy pasting some code here and run it. Okay, so here is the change. Okay, and same with uh, any other language. Let me put I don't know, like for instance, Scala using CEO from the Spotify, the framework that Spotify makes on top of Apache Bean. Okay, so here I have some. It's an example, okay, so let me run it. This is gonna going to compile the code. Okay, you see here, so you see here that it has been compiling the code. Well, it already compiled and it, it's running the, the, the output very quickly, okay? And also with Java, so you don't have to start Java in your computer just to run it, okay? Let me see, let me run it just to show it uh, very quickly, okay? I think it's already finished. Yes, it's already finished, okay? And then you see here the graph, okay? So because, uh, well, so I don't remember exactly what the, this example is doing, but it has a little bit of complexity. So you can take any example that you find out there, okay? Like in a repo and so on, and just run it in the playground. And as a matter of fact, the examples that you find in the website, uh, they have uh, the playground embedded in uh, uh, inside, okay? And if you want to embed the playground in your own website, you can also do that, okay? If you go here and click in new examples, you have here all the potential use cases of the playground, okay? So embed into any HTML, embed into the Bing web website, or just using as a, the playground web app, okay? And you can also contribute with examples here, okay? Um, if you change say, one example here and you do any kind of custom example, you can also share your code, literally your code with anyone by using these uh, these uh, uh, links here okay so it's a very it's a very handy way of showing showing off even I would say uh, uh, Apache bean in any website okay what other resources do you have uh, to learn about Apache bean um, we have a, a specialization in Coursera um, uh, more focus on data flow but it also includes um, a couple of courses about the uh, Apache Bean in general. Okay, so if we go here to, to the specialization, there are three courses, foundations, developing and operations. Okay, and for instance, in develop pipelines, let's see if we can, well, let, let, let's go to the course. Uh, let's go to the course. <clears throat> you can see that modules, there are lots of concepts about Apache Bean. You can learn about state and timers, about sources and seeks and schemas and so on. So even though it's very focused on data flow, there are also generic knowledge about Apache Bean in this, uh, in this course. The labs that are part of this course are put together in this itinerary, the quest of uh, Apache Bean. And by um, passing this quest, um, that is also linked in the learning resources page in the in the website. By passing this quest, you can get your Apache Bean skills certified. Okay, so with the, this badge that you can just share in LinkedIn, uh, put in in different places. Okay, so um, I recommend you uh, passing this certification if you want to have some evidence on on where are your skills in Apache Bean. 
Books. Let's talk about books. Uh, there are two main books um, that I, I have enjoyed uh, reading a lot and that, that I use myself also to learn a lot uh, uh, when I started do, doing stuff with Apache Bean. So here on the left, we have this uh, Building Big Data Pipelines with Apache Bean by one of the Apache Bean contributors, uh, Jan Lukaski. It's really full of uh, very interesting examples. It comes with a GitHub repository with all the code in Java for all the examples. Uh, in the book, uh, the examples are run using Flink as a kind of a local runner with Docker. Um, but you can also take the examples and run them in the playground, for instance, uh, yeah, by just copy pasting the code or by importing the URL from GitHub, which is also an option in the in the in the playground. So um, uh, if you take this book from end to end, you will have a very thorough and very detailed and didactic uh, um, experience uh, of being, let's say, from, from the beginning until the end. Okay, so I totally recommend you uh, using this book as, as kind of like the steps in a course uh, to learn about, about Apache Bean. If you want to learn about the streamings, this book is strongly recommended. So this book is still um, very relevant, even though I think it has already five years, it's already five years old or something like that. But this is, uh, this documents the Apache Beam model for streaming pipelines and how the streaming systems works in combination with Apache Beam, like a pub sap in Google Cloud, Kafka, and so on. Okay, so um, reading this book will give you a very detailed um, a view of how streaming pipelines uh, should be designed and how they are run in Dataflow, how they are run in Flink and in, in other in other runners. I strongly recommend you. I strongly recommend you this book for learning about um, about Apache Bean. And these are also um, um, main contributors, like actually the original contributors even of of Apache Bean and and data flow. It's a really very interesting book. And talking of examples, uh, I, I, I would like also to highlight the data flow cookbook. This is not one of the resources that is included in the learning resources page in Apache Bean, but still I find it a very interesting source and I use it a lot uh, to copy paste, like I have to confess it, to copy paste code for, for my own pipelines. Okay, so um, uh, this is a GitHub repository with lots of examples in Java, Python, and Scala. Let's, for instance, have a look here at some of the examples. Like, for instance, if I want to go to the basics, let's go to the, like a combined per key. Okay, so you have here a full example on how to run combined per key. Um, the examples also come with some documentation. Documentation. You could take this code. Let me actually, can I copy this code? Let me see. Let me try to go to the to the playground here. Let me change this to Python, okay? I'm gonna remove this, I'm gonna copy paste this, and I'm gonna pray to see if this works, okay? Let me see if this, this is running. Let me see the result here. See, it's working, good, good, okay? Good, and the graph should be, ah, here is the graph, okay? See, it is as easy as this to go and run these examples up from the Dataflow cookbook. The, the name can be a little bit misleading because it's not only about data flow, it's also about Apache Bean. Apache Bean. Uh, for sure, there are some parts that are more specific to, to uh, data flow, like for instance, these BigQuery modules, okay? Like read uh, big table, uh, BigQuery tables from, well, so you need here access to big uh, BigQuery. So maybe this is not the best example to, to, to run in the playground, but there are many other examples that are totally um, generic Okay, and that you could also run in, in the playground, for instance, by just copy pasting. Okay, let me do it again. I love it. I love it. This is almost magical. Now run. Let's see. It's processing. Ah, well, this failed. Okay, I don't know why it failed. Okay, uh, I'm not authorized to perform this action. Okay, I don't know what this pipeline is doing. So maybe I, ah, yes, it's actually trying to subscribe to a topic in PubSub. Okay, well, I chose a, uh, sorry, I chose a wrong example, okay? Let's see, this one here. It's also taking data from PubSub, okay, okay. Well, I made a mistake. See, you cannot connect to resource, external resources from this website, but for anything that is self-contained, it's, it's, uh, it's a perfect, it's a perfect platform. And here you have all the examples. Read the, have a look at the readme of the Dataflow cookbook, 
okay? Because it has some documentation about all the examples and you will find lots of examples on, on uh, that you can run in the playground. And if you want to run them in Google Cloud, in Dataflow, uh, in your own computer, so you also have instructions on how to do that here. Well, so these are all the learning resources that I wanted to highlight today. Uh, if you are thinking of uh, giving your first steps with uh, Apache Bean, uh, please have a look at the learning resources page. Have a look at the tool of Bean. I strongly recommend it. And I wish you all the best. Okay. Remember that you have also the community resources to seek uh, help in case uh, you, you need to make any questions. And well, enjoy Apache Bean with these resources.